Prom can be a very magical and fun, important, special time for many juniors and seniors in high school, maybe even younger, if you know someone a little bit older to take you. I never went to prom. Let me tell you about the time that I panicked about being invited to prom. I was homeschooled, as many of you know, and for a large portion of my high school years, I really wanted to go to high school, a public high school or a private one, but I knew we couldn't afford private, so I would have been okay with public, primarily because I wanted things like a locker and to go to dances and pretty much no other reason, let's be honest here. When I was in my senior year of high school, at some point, I was at the home of one of the leaders of the youth group uh, that that I attended, and uh, we were watching a movie or hanging out, having dinner or something. It was a bunch of us kids from the church. Most of us were late high school age. Um, Some of the other leaders were there as well. Just one of the extracurriculars that we did, hanging out as a group and having fun. At some point throughout the evening, I mentioned... Uh, that I had wanted to uh, to attend a high school dance just one time. I had never attended a dance at all. To this day, I still haven't. Although, now that I've been out of high school for 20 years, I have no desire to attend one, and it would probably be really creepy if I did. Now, at this event, there was a couple who had been together since at least their sophomore year, although it could have been a little bit longer. They are still together to this day, and they have a fair number of children as well. We will call them Rick and Valerie. Valerie turned around and looked me dead in the eye and said, We'll go to prom. Something you have to know about me is that I prefer to respect relationships to the point where I refuse to process or acknowledge whether or not I would potentially be interested in somebody at all, even or uh, unless both of us were single. But because they're in a relationship, I just don't even go there. It, it is to set up a boundary in my own brain, so I do not become smitten with someone who is taken. And it is a boundary that has served me well because I can easily block out those kinds of uh, intellectual thought processes now that I'm happily married so I don't make that marriage unhappy. I had never really had any interest in her to begin with. Nothing against her at all, of course, just simply how things were. I had known her before she got together with Rick. That being said... I absolutely panicked because here I am, someone I know, I know is in a relationship, is now inviting me to prom. This was likely the most awkward experience and situation I had ever had up until that point. Maybe even to this day, I don't remember because I was homeschooled. I was in a lot of awkward situations. I was entirely rendered speechless because, as I said, I wasn't really interested in her, and she had just invited me to prom with her boyfriend sitting right next to her, just right there. Rick was a great guy, and probably still is, and uh, I'm, I'm sure he could tell that I was very uncomfortable and could tell that I was nervous. He has always been good at reading people. He could probably even tell that I was downright panicked. He turned to me, looked me right in the eye, and said, yeah, you can go to prom with us. Alleviating my fears, obviously, probably sensing that I had this trepidation, this panic going on, not knowing how to respond, and he knew exactly how to defuse this situation. Understand that he was 17 or 18 at the time, and I presume he has gotten even more mature and better with people since then, in about 20 years. This is how good of a person Rick was, and one of the reasons this sticks out in my memory, well, that and the panic. And Make no mistake, that is exactly what Valerie intended, for, for me to go with her and her boyfriend, at, well, now husband, to prom. It was not for me to be her date, just to be a friend guest with her 
and the guy she was dating to the prom. But as I was the socially awkward homeschool kid, I just panicked and froze. I knew at the moment that that's what she meant and what they both meant. And I was instantly relieved. I am glad that he reacted the way that he did. Uh, Instead of making things even more awkward and potentially laughing at me or embarrassing me, he saved me from wider embarrassment because I personally and internally cringe at it, but I don't think anybody else noticed besides the two of them. Um, And of course, embarrassment, public embarrassment of someone else would have been genuinely out of character for him anyway. I accepted the invitation and all of the awkwardness was over. The whole incident probably lasted less than two minutes, but I really appreciated his emotional intelligence in the moment. And wherever he's at, whatever he's doing, I'm sure that is a skill that is serving him very, very well. I know that they are still married. I know that they have a good-sized family. And I am sure that they are a very good couple and are very good parents. And I'm glad to have known them. Because of my parents' company, the, uh, the AV company that I worked for, uh, having the schedule that we had, I ended up not being able to go to prom with them because we were traveling at that time. I didn't know that when I accepted the invitation. It's just the way things work out sometimes. It was still a great gesture, and I think I would have enjoyed the experience. That being said, I have no idea. 20 years later, I do kind of still wish I had been able to go and have just that one experience that regular high schoolers get to have. I'm less disappointed about the locker thing, though. I've heard those are actually a nightmare. I uh, still took another decade or so to stop being socially awkward, although I probably didn't stop entirely. But that event definitely did help. Almost all of my social cues later in life were learned kind of later in life. But at the time, my social cues were learned by people twice my age. Understanding my own generation really took until my uh, my mid-20s to, to actually nail down. It's just the way it works sometimes. And maybe I'm better for it. Maybe I'm worse for it. There's no way of knowing I am the way that I am. I'm closer to 40 than I am to 30. I'm closer to 40 than I am to 35. So I can try and grow and change. But realistically, some of my social cues just are the way they are. It's important, though, not to overthink some things, which I did a whole lot in that moment very, very quickly. And it's a tough lesson to learn and relearn and relearn again, especially for constant overthinkers like I tend to be. When other people in your life recognize and diffuse the situation, it's also important to recognize that and be grateful. You may not have to express that gratitude out loud, but recognize it and understand it. See how you can apply that to your life as well. Take stock of what happened. That way you can learn from and avoid those kinds of misunderstandings in the future. If you want access to stories like this ahead of schedule, the Friday before these go live, I release them behind the paywall at the arthurnix.locals.com. And of course, I would always love to hear your stories in the comments or on Twitter or wherever wherever else you want to send them. The end. For now.